in the end, if Keir Starmer gets the big majority that you say you want, why should he pay the blindest bit of notice to you? Well, first of all, I think um, he will, because I meet Keir Starmer and he understands that I have got a job to do. I say many, many times in conversations with Labour, I am here to fight for workers. That is the primary job that I have. But also, I think that if you put your fingers in your ears, if you put your fingers in your ears to workers, we could be walking ourselves down a line where those people go somewhere else to seek solace. There is somewhere one else shot... Being what? There is what? There is one shot... There is one shot for Labour to get this right. We've seen the polls uh, and how volatile the polls are. Less than five years ago, short, you know, a short time ago, there was 80% majority for the Tories. That has now moved over completely. So there's one shot to get this right because we can but, see that there may be difficulties ahead if that is and not the case. When you say they, there's somewhere else for them to go, what, where are you talking about? They're not going to go to Conservatives. Are you talking reform? Well, we can already see. I mean, I don't think it was coincidence that Nigel Farage launched his uh, manifesto in Merthyr Tidville, one of the poorest uh, parts um, of the UK. Um, and I think Labour have got one shot. We can see the volatility of the electorate. One shot to really say to workers and communities, we are with you. We can see the pain that you're going through. And to say to them to wait for growth, to say to them to wait for growth, it is not quick enough. They are on their knees. They need Labour to come in and put their arms around them. And I really want Labour to do that. They've done some fantastic things in the manifesto. I'm supporting Labour, but we need to do more.